low. Now a critical juncture for determining where this series is going. Welcome everyone to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Los Angeles Clippers. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Here are the five for the Clippers. The stars of this team on the wing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. And it's Beverly in at the one spot. And for the Lakers, the forwards are LeBron and Davis. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Gasol and at the five down low. Well, stretching the floor, Kawhi Leonard out at that distance, you're just so fearful of him driving by, and he knocks one down with confidence. Right at the free throw line, and LeBron with the basket, the assist by Schroeder. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide. Well, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. And good that time. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Beverly against Schroeder. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Caldwell Pope for three. It's hauled in by Zubac. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's a three-point game. Here's the pass to Morris over Schroeder. Morris, no good. And D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Schroeder, right side. And James gets it to go. LeBron's got his second basket of the game. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. Here's Leonard. Some solid defense from Gasol. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. I know the defense wants to back off James, but if LeBron's on like that, maybe not the best plan. Now here's Beverly. Morris with the screen for Beverly. Here's the Morris. Traps in the tray. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. LeBron James on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Misses the hole, and he's now three for four. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And Beverly kicks to Zubas. Passes it to George. Over in the corner, Beverly. Just five on the clock. No good with the triple. Lakers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Davis banked in off the glass. Even though Davis gets bodied just a little bit, he still knocks down the shot right in the defense's face. The Clippers trail. Pass to Zubac. Outside Leonard. He dishes it to George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. George has got his second bucket of the night. Well, that's Paul George's game. Most accurate when somebody's feeding him and he's got his feet set. Davis finds James. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis setting the pick for Schroeder. Rebound by the Clippers. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And there's the drive. And that one's good. Beverly. Well, he's attacking right now. Patrick Beverly just getting fired up. And his team is doing the same. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Teron Liu for just a minute. With a two games to none series lead, he wants his team to remain focused on the business at hand. He said they put themselves in a very good position and they're determined to make the most of it. Well, we'll see how they do in game three. Kevin, back to you. All right, David Banks. Now James. Paul George missing from long range. James dishes to Schroeder. High arcing shot. And James with the layup. LeBron's got nine points. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And the pass to Zubats. 
He kicks to Beverly. Pass to Leonard. From the arc. No good there. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They come off the loss on Friday. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. The Clippers in the lead. Everly with the ball. Passes it to George. Over Coldwell Pope. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Feeds it to Gasol. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. And it's all knotted up. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. LeBron James on the wing. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. And when AD takes off from the ground for alley-oops like this one, it really demoralizes the opponent. Now Beverly. And Davis pulls it down. And here's Schroeder. LeBron James on the wing. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Goes up with it again. And LeBron with a nice bucket inside. James has got 11. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Some changes here for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. The Clippers also making some changes. Reggie Jackson comes in for Morris. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Clippers have gone 6 of 13 from the field. Just under the 50% mark. Here's George. And it's Paul George with the finish. Paul George dunk contest? Eh, he's maybe a, a little older, but I love to see him get up. Lakers have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Pass to LeBron. And he uses the glass on the layup. James has got 13. And he's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight for him. Rondo passes to George. No good from outside. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. LeBron with a screen on Jackson. Floats it up for James. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. LeBron gets behind the eyes of the defense for the highlight reel, James. Now here's Leonard. And he comes up with the deuce. Leonard's got his second bucket. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. James, a screen on run. 
Kuzma outside. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And it's sent back by George. And they'll keep possession. Count it good. Davis has got his third basket of the night. Clippers trail by four. Leonard looking around. Broke loose. And George kicks to Zubac. There's the pick. Drives to the hoop. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Caruso. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kuzma finds James. Davis sets a screen. Shot clock at six. James misses. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by four. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. Yeah, I think you got to be cautious when you guard Paul George. He's not afraid of the contact, and that time welcomed it. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They also haven't been afraid of taking the ball to the rack. Lots of opportunities at the rim. They throw good, Paul George. Uh, the, the versatility of Paul George as he's matured and put some more weight on his frame through the years. He's an exceptional two-way player with outstanding length and a tremendous scoring ability. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Zubats. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's James. He's got 15. Another miss by LeBron. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. George passes to Rondo. Leonard sets a screen for Rondo. Ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. Just five to shoot. Ibaka with a screen on LeBron. And that one's good, George. PG playing behind the pick and roll, able to use his size. And a pretty good decision that time with the basketball. LeBron against George. Loads it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Montrez Harrell with a throwdown that gets his teammates up. James against George. Here he goes. It's stolen by Davis. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. And he makes that one. And now a four-point Laker lead. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Ibaka sets the pick for George. Let's a floater go. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. One thirty-three left in the first quarter of the game. Here's LeBron. Again, the Lakers. You got to do better than that, or, or at least try LeBron James. Just too strong, and a little contact is not going to go a long way. Now, here's Leonard. Five points in the game. Ibaka with a screen on Davis. Leonard, that's for two. LeBron grabs the miss. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
that free throw, no good. Uh, you know Anthony Davis is going to spend a lot of time at the free throw line most nights throughout the course of the season. And he's going to be pretty solid when he gets there. And he sinks the second. Here's Leonard. 58 seconds left to play here in the first. Shot to stop the run, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Such a difficult guy to keep up with and also have a conversation with. Leonard, sometimes all you can do is foul him. The Clippers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. throw good from Kawhi Leonard. There's a quiet intensity that Kawhi Leonard brings to both ends of the floor, a defensive menace, and it's amazing to watch him just how disruptive he can be when he's guarding the one, two, three, or even four man and messing up offensive scheme. All three throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Lakers leading by five. The pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Caruso. Three-pointer. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Clippers trail by five. Ibaka outside. We've got 28 seconds left in the first quarter. And George kicks to Ibaka. Six to shoot. The drive by Jackson. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And with a quick first step, Jackson remains a threat to drive on any defender. Caruso looking for an opening, and it's Davis finishing it off. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Lakers lead by five. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. We spoke with Paul George about how they've integrated all the talent on this team. Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. Everybody wants to win. Um, and there's no egos. Everybody has fun. We play together. We move the ball. We make sacrifices. Uh, and we enjoy getting stops. Break that last point is key. This team plays lockdown defense. And that's a big part of their identity. Most teams talk about being well balanced. This team lives it. We're back at the Western Conference Finals. Happy to have you with us here on 2K Sports. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Davis is out there with Montrez Hill. And it's Matthews. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Kuzma in at the three spot. That's the Laker five. Zubac finds Jackson. Hits it from three-point range. Jackson's got five points so far. Now the improved touch of Jackson, especially from range, now making him a multi-dimensional threat. The turnaround. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking 
at the rim. Jackson against Matthews. Tipped away. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. There's Jackson with the three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Fourteen feet away. Kennard with the rebound. Clippers trail by six. And it's Leonard top of the key. Zubats. Another shot. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Schroeder dishes to Harrell. Right side Davis. Right block shot. That misses off the backboard. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Here's Jackson. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, when you get into a system, your first system in the league where you share the ball. That's why Leonard keeping his head up and finding the open man. The Clippers shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. James checked in for Anthony Davis. free throw off from Jackson. And Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. James misses. Clippers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Jackson looking it over. Zubats with it. Five on the clock. Jackson passes to Leonard. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Leonard's got ten. So money on the catch and shoot. I don't know what the defense is doing there, giving Kawhi that shot. Schroeder outside. The three from LeBron. And he's good on the three ball. James has got 22. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Marcus Morris has checked in for the Clippers. Oh. 
and a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Jackson finds Kennard. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Kennard's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Harrell setting the pick for James. And that one, good. And the Lakers lead by one. Uh-oh. It's, it's one of those nights for LeBron James just setting the place on fire right now. Jackson kicks to Zubas. Pass to Kanan. Five to shoot. Zubas to screen on Matthews. Shots good by Kanan. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. LeBron against Zubas. It's stolen. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Mann gets the bucket. Mann's got the lead up to four now for the Clippers. And that's how you do it. Impressive play, explosive finish. Yeah, sweet finishes like that. You see everybody get up. Look at the guys on the bench. They're fired up. LeBron dishes to Hero. Shoots over Zubac. Again, the Lakers. The Clippers have gone 7-9 in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. It's Jackson with the drive. The shot will not fall. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Jackson against Schroeder. And he drives in. Makes it off the glass. Schroeder's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Great move off the dribble from Schroeder there to lose the defense. This is it to Zubac. The dish to Jackson. Great tee that time from Dennis Schroeder. Lakers have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. And Matthews kicks it over to Schroeder. Dishes it to LeBron. Into the lane. Oh! <laughs> no yeah, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim that time on display and the Clippers call time here you look at James what a contribution yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket And Anthony Davis is checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Leonard, that's for two. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Leonard's got 12 in the game. Orchestrating right now, Rondo should be playing with a baton. Pass to James. And they double up James. Caldwell Pope for three. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Leonard attacking. Kicks it to Morris. 
shoots over Kuzma. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just one point on the basket for Morris. And dangerous in that catch and shoot game. In fact, anytime Morris can square up, he's a lot more consistent. Got a piece of it to the paint. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. The Lakers have converted one of two free throws so far today. Some changes for the Lakers. Horton Tucker's checked in. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. One shot. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. The three from George. Rebounded by the Lakers. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Caruso. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Davis. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Phenomenal strength there by AD to take the hit and finish that one. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. One shot. First trail by seven. Outside Leonard. Cousins with a screen for Leonard. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. But with his developing handle, Leonard now has defenders at his mercy when on the bounce. Now the pass to Davis. Shoots over Cousins. And another basket for the Lakers. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Score that one for him, his eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. I like it when AD starts to step on the gas pedal offensively. He starts to feel like nobody can stop him, and he very well might be right. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the D. James checked in for the Lakers, and the Clippers with a change here too. Mann's checked in. Side Rondo with his first shot attempt. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yep, can be a threat from the mid range whenever Rondo looks to get it going from there. Pass to LeBron. Here's Caruso. Davis, the pass to Caldwell Pope. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Knocked away. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. There's the triple. Trains it from beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. LeBron against Leonard. Inside, man. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Over George. And there's Caldwell Pope. That's good on the assist by LeBron. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Leonard. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Leonard's got 16 points. 
You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. The feed to LeBron. And James throws it down hard. LeBron James, here's the report, Kevin. Still athletic. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A 12-point game. The three from George. That shot off as the Lakers the other way. Caruso kicks to James. Lakers passing it around. Here's Mann going inside. Rondo finds Leonard. Shoots over Kuzma. Leonard with the bucket. 18 points for Kawhi Leonard. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Caruso, the pass to James. Outside, Davis. Pass to Kuzma. Takes a three. And another three for the Lakers. Well, you know Davis, and he knows, is going to draw the attention of multiple defenders, and that time connects with a teammate to get it done. Outside Rondo, and there's the pass to George. Shoots the three. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got four assists in the game. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Caruso. Let's the three fly, and Caldwell Pope good for three. He's got 14. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That one's good. The Laker lead has cut to just 11 points in the basket from Paul George. Paul George is aggressive. Look at his eyes right now, focused on scoring, and he sees the open path and gets right there. Now Kuzma. Davis with a screen on Leonard. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Contavious, you guys were getting a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. How important was that? Oh man, they're important, man. We got to keep them off the glass. Uh, we can't get them second shot, and we got our uh, offensive rebound too as well. Get us uh, some second chance at the basket. And just keep working hard. Well, you made it work in the first half, KCP. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. Taking a look at the Lakers, they've come out with the clear intention of turning this series around. Down 2-0, this is basically their last chance to salvage the series, and so far it looks like they're up to the challenge. Shaq, what'd you think about the Lakers? The story has been the versatility of Giannis, has the ability to dominate in every statistical, mephistical, ballistical category. He's the gold standard for the positionless basketball. Kenny, what's your take on the Clippers? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, out-hustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. back with you all set to bring you more action from game three it's been a clinic out there by James yeah it's been a great performance from him really staying focused on quality shots yeah this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own and after a very lopsided first half we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second 
our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So for the Clippers right now, wing pairing for him, it's George and Leonard. Toast tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. And it's Beverly in at the point guard. Patrick Beverly is going to come at you every night. Just an inspiring player that way. And daring the defense to get physical with him on that play. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. The first one falls. One of the better perimeter defenders in the game and in the golden age of scoring point guards, Patrick Beverly doing his best to slow them down on a nightly basis. Both free throws good from Beverly. Lakers leading by nine. Schroeder surveying the floor. Here's James. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists in the game. Beverly, the pass to Zubats. He dishes it to George. And George gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's Davis on the wing. Over Morris. And another basket for the Lakers. Well, AD has the green light, trust me. In this offensive system, he can shoot the ball whenever he wants. Leonard against Davis. It's tipped. Leonard against Schroeder. Deft touch on the alley-oop. Slowly but surely, KCP is becoming a go-to scorer. Just needs to improve his efficiency. Clippers trail by 15. Beverly the pass to Zubats. Back to Beverly. Outside, George. Lock at six. He gets it in there. Uh, Paul George taking initiative tonight and going right at the defense. Lakers leading by 13. Shooter passes to James. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Lakers working the ball around now. Yeah, another turnover. But guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. What a play by Leonard there. Gets up the court so fast, and nothing's going to stop him from finishing strong. Schroeder outside. Gasol against Zubac. Gasol, no good. And he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Outside, George. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Lakers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. James in the post. He's covered by Leonard. And again, the Lakers no good. Clippers trail by 11. There's the drive. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Good scorers have that ability. When Leonard gets that deep, it's usually a bucket, a trip to the free throw line, or both. The Clippers have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. And they haven't let points get away 
from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Lakers leading by 10. And here is James. He has 30. Gasol kicks to Caldwell Pope. There's Schroeder. Shot clock at five. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Beverly deciding where to go with it. The dish to George. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Clippers trail by 12. Now here's Beverly. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. Oats one up. Up again. Yeah, to look at the frame of A.G. when he came into the league as opposed to it is now. He's so much more tough and more physical and doesn't mind the contact. Morris with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Short. And Gasol sends it back. James with it. Leonard picks him up. Caldwell Pope outside. Davis with a screen on Morris. Caldwell Pope. And the rejection by Zubats. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Back to Beverly. Outside Leonard. It's up a three. The Lakers with the rebound. Schroeder's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. No good on the three. Clippers trail by 14. Everly with the ball. Passes to Morris. He kicks it to George. Lays it up off the glass. George has got 22. Just tough shots just don't bother Paul George. So smooth with it when he gets into his motion. Bounce pass, Schroeder. James finds Schroeder. Back to James. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Goes up on the wing. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The pass to George. Zubats with the screen for George. Top Leonard. He's guarded by Davis. Leonard with the bucket. You know, what a game by Leonard, but you wouldn't know it by the way he's reacting out there. Just stone face, but getting the job done. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here.
And the Lakers with some changes. Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Patrick Beverly. Here's Caldwell Pope. 16 points for him. Lakers working the ball around now. Outside, Davis. Pass to LeBron. A three ball. And Davis with the basket on the assist by James. LeBron's got assist number eight now on the night. George against Caldwell Pope. Zubats a screen on Caldwell Pope. And it's good, two points. George has got six points in the quarter. Well, he knows how to score, and he does just that. Don't let Paul George fool you. He can finish inside. They get a hand on it. Rondo with the steal. This is to Leonard. Over James. That one's good. The Laker lead has got down to nine in the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. You gotta do your best to root and push and shove Kawhi Leonard outside of the paint. He's just too strong and too skilled on the inside. And then he starts to get comfortable. Loads it up for Davis. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Harrell. And you know he's so good coming off the pick and roll. But what do you have to take away? There's so many ways Leonard can hurt you offensively. James looking it over. A crossover and the dunk by James. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two-hand pass. Nice. Straight power there. Straight power. Leonard against James, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on LeBron James. And we all know what a tough cover Kawhi has become. The defender got caught in a bad position and is kicking himself for it now. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. And they've done a good job being patient and working hard to get the ball into the post. It's resulted in a lot of points down low. He misses the free throw. And the Lakers with some changes. Horton Tucker's checked in. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Clippers. Jackson comes in for Morris. Good on the second free throw. Here's Caruso. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Passes it to Davis. Takes the three. Hands it from downtown. And the Lakers lead by 13. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow on out there. Leonard against Harrell. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. Yeah, really strong offensive thrust there. But then how about the defense able to negate that attack? The Clippers have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. 
pass to Caruso. Outside Matthews. The pass to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Caruso. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. A three from George. Rebound by Harrell. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Pass to Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Great understanding by Davis to sense the foul coming, but also get the shot off as well. The Lakers have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. He's off on the second. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Down by 12. Better outside when he gets into a rhythm or when he gets his feet set. Rondo smart at knowing when to fire. Davis with a screen on run. Passes it to Horton Tucker. And it's Paul George with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face physical high energy plays like that one. on defense the Clippers and there's the foul we're going Alex Caruso that is his first foul of the game oof he's had a dismal second half Kevin uh, he did a great job getting the ball to his teammates and working it around in the first half but the second half not so much Jackson seven points in the game for three Matthews with the rebound Lakers leading by nine right side Davis and they double up Davis Harrell finds Matthews and the Lakers with another miss Clippers have gone better than 53 percent from the floor since halftime shooting eight of 15 back to George a nice ball movement by the Clippers Outside Jackson. Ibaka sets the pick for Jackson. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. And it's Davis finishing it off. AD can get you from anywhere, and sometimes you, you just got to pick where it is you hope he misses shots from. Outside Rondo, pass to Leonard. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Back to Rondo, five on the clock. From downtown, that one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Leonard. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. George against Matthews. Ibaka with the screen on Matthews. Here's George. And the clip. getting another bucket right there. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Caruso. 
Matthews a screen on run. Here's Davis. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We've got more in store for you right after this. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Clippers trail by eight. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Marcus Saul is out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Caruso in at the two. That's the Laker five. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Schroeder against Beverly, and it's blocked. Can't be lazy around Patrick Beverly. He's going to get you down low with hands. That time, he blocks a shot. against Leonard. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. That one on Davis. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. Some changes for the Lakers. Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. James comes in for Anthony Davis. And it's Matthews in for Alex Caruso. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Loads it up there for Harrell. And stolen by Cousins. Leonard against Matthews. And that one's good. Leonard. Very easily could have been an one there. Leonard takes the contact and still maintains the focus to make the score. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Outside Matthews. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Clippers trail by five. And here's Beverly. Jackson up top. Pocket five. The fader. No good on that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Last quarter of play. About two minutes in now. Morris against James. Driving inside. And the dunk by James. Wow, LeBron on the roll. This time, rocks it. Here's Leonard. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Well, take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And that's the power and strength he brings. Kawhi able to absorb the contact. I'm not even sure he felt it and still knocks it down. Davis has checked in for Harold. 
Paul George is checked in for the Clippers. Lakers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Shooter passes to LeBron. Driving the lane. Count it. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Clippers trail by five. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Jackson drives in. Outside, George. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Matthews. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Schroeder with the ball. Guarded now by DeMarcus Cousins. The Schroeder, it's all about speed. He just changes direction and shifts into another gear, Kevin. That's where his advantage lies. down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Jackson. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside for George. And George gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Schroeder with the ball. James outside. Leonard with the steal. Stellar anticipation by Leonard to create the fast break opportunity. That's why he's a perennial defensive player of the year candidate. Davis against Cousins. Davis kicks to LeBron. And the rejection by Cousins. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. Again, when you go from second to fourth gear, Paul George puts a lot of pressure on the defense that way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. They throw good. Paul George. And the Lakers making a change here. Caruso's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Lakers leading by three. 
LeBron passes to Caruso. Over Jackson. And that one's good, Caruso. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. You know, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Matthews against Jordan. Not loose. It's stolen by Davis. Now James. And Matthews now, top of the key. Plenty of space. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got assist number 11 for him here tonight. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Seven-point differential. Now the pass to George. And again, no good by the Clippers. Lakers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Rondo comes in for Marcus Morris. And Matthews kicks to James. Offline with his three. Clippers trail by seven. Rondo scanning the floor. Pass to Leonard. Outside for Jackson. Shot clock at six. Ball's knocked loose. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. That one goes in. James has got 39. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Passes it to Zubac. To the paint. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. He's been accurate tonight. I think the best way for them to succeed is to get him more shots. Sounds simple, but it comes down to execution. Here's LeBron. Banked in off the glass. James has got nine points in the quarter. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this move. And they double up Rondo. Jackson has the open look. And the three off target. Lakers leading by nine. Here's Caruso. Pass to LeBron. And he banks in the layup. LeBron's got 43 points. Oh, great ball movement there. Clippers have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Zubac finds Rondo. Outside, George. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Rondo's got assist number eight now on the night. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James. 
Williams. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And Craig, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. And there's the pass to LeBron. Over George. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubats has got eight rebounds in this game. Leonard against Kuzma. Good. Leonard's got 46 points. And memo to the rest of the team, continue to get him the basketball. He's clearly delivering here in the fourth. James, the pass to Caruso. LeBron against George. Stolen by George. Jumps up. And it's George finishing it off. Just Paul George showing how dominant he can be as a two-way player. Here's Caruso. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First one drops. So he hits one of two from the strike. Yeah, the main thing here, though, guys, is just to make sure you get a two-possession game. Outside Leonard. Tipped away. Outside for Jackson. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. James, a screen on run. Kuzma, outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Caruso. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Rajon Rondo. You know what? a three-point play right there. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken advantage. And it's a feel-good night from behind the three-point line, racking up a ton of threes. And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. It's the second from the line. And the Clippers call time here. You look at James. What a contribution. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Here's Rondo. Outside, George. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. 
Timeout called the Lakers. Pass to Caruso. To the middle. And that one's good. James. James has got 45 points. It's hard to stop LeBron from getting in that deep. So the size, the speed, the power, the position. Two more. Zubac a screen on the block. Nailed from three-point land. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Over Jackson. And that one's good. James. LeBron's got 47 points. And how smart is LeBron James right there? Just amazing knowing when to drive, when to stop, and when to pop. Zubac gets to Jackson. This is it to George. Off target from outside. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. Clippers trail by three. And here's Jackson. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Lakers leading by three. To the wing on the left. Here's Kuzma. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And such a determined score. When challenging the defense, Kuzma won't take no for an answer. That one misses for Kuzma. The Clippers shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. And Rondo gets it to go on the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists tonight. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the edge Kuzma plays with is terrific. A, a tough, versatile player who plays with a real hunger to keep getting better. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that gives them a four-point cushion. 58 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Jackson misses. And, and all the skill used on that crossover. Might want to save a little bit for the finish. Unable to convert there. What vision by LeBron. Always willing to give up the ball. They're just hitting a wide open teammate. Caldwell Pope against Jackson. Money! And now they trail by just four. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. There's Kuzma, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Plays with such a fearlessness. Kuzma is terrific at staying engaged and forcing the issue. free throw is good and that puts them up by five and 
and he is unable to get the second one. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Leonard dishes to Jackson. Back to Leonard. The Lakers with the rebound. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. And you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Yeah, and, and luckily they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. We watch LeBron and we marvel at him, but how hard that LeBron James works at his craft and continues to push the bar for himself physically is one of the things that you have to appreciate the most. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by seven. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, this is the classic too little, too late. The effort coming and not enough time for them to get back in it. And the Clippers making a switch here. Here's Caruso, and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. But deep three from George. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Morris outside. Misses the deep three-point attempt. And so the Lakers take the win. Things were looking bleak for him, obviously, coming into this game. But with tonight's win, Greg, they are right back in it. And, and that's the fight this team has. They don't care what the odds are. They are going to keep battling. And, and suddenly, we got a series. David, thank you as always. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.